hi guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by so for today's tutorial i thought i'd create this mad cut crease for you so if you're interested in how i achieved this look then please keep on watching i've already done my eyebrows and based my eyelids off camera and now i'm just going to be going over my crease with the yellow shade called opihave from the Aha Honey palette and I'm just going to be packing and blending that all over my crease. Next, I'm going to go in with a burnt orange shade called Heist from the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette. And I'm just going to blend that on top of my first shade. Now I'm going to cut my crease to about 3 quarters of my eye using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige. Next I'm going to go over the crease with a clean fluffy brush, just pressing the brush on to try and mattify the concealer and also blending out the edges of the cut crease. Next I'm going to go in with that burnt orange shade 
on the edge of my crease and just blend that all over the outer corner of my eye. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using a liquid ink liner from Essence in the color black. For lashes, I'm going to be wearing the Lash Style Mauve. Is it Mauve or Move Mauve? I don't know. Like, but I got it from Sphinx Beauty. Now I'm going to apply the same shade I used on my eyelids on my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to go on the inner corners of my eyes with the glitter shade called Palooza from the Oolala palette just to give my eyes that little twinkle. Then I'm quickly going to apply mascara on my lower lash line and that is it for this eye look. Now I'm going to be moving on to the rest of my face. To face my face, I use the Essence HD Hydra Primer Spray. I really love this spray because it's water-based, which is perfect for someone like me with oily skin. For foundation, I'll be using the MAC Studio Fix Foundation in the shade NC445. My problem with this um, foundation, it oxidizes very quickly. Like. I've given it so many chances, but like it still oxidizes whether it's windy, whether it's just a cool day, whether it's a hot sunny day, it oxidizes. Another issue that I've been having with this foundation is that it gets oily very quickly. Now, I'm not gonna like I'm 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 not trying to dispute what other people or what other reviews people have given about this foundation, but I'm just talking about my own personal experience with this foundation. So yeah, that's that on that. Next, I'm going to conceal with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige and I'm just going to be blending that with my Real Techniques Blending Sponge. To cream contour my face, I'm going to be using my LA Gold Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze.
To bake my makeup, I'm going to be using the Sacha Buttercup Setting Powder. While the rest of my face is baking, I'm going to powder contour using the Essence Mattifying Compact Powder in the shade True Mahogany. Now I'm going to quickly remove that bake. Next I'm going to apply blush from Wet n Wild in the shade Mellow Wine. I love, love, love this blush. Like I'm not a blush person but I love this blush. For highlighter, I'm going to be using the Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Precious Petals. And I'm going to be using a matte liquid lipstick I got from Connie Transform a while back in the shade Jock Weary. To finish off this look, I'm using my Fix Plus Setting Spray from MAC Cosmetics. Anyway, this is the final look you guys. Please comment down below and let me know whether you like this look. And if you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye guys!